Stranger by Mandolin Orange is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the fifth fret of the guitar um, and played out of G formation. So even though we're playing in technically the key of C, I'll be speaking of these chords as though they're, you know, in first position, like this would be a G, even though technically it's a C. Okay, the chords themselves are pretty easy, but there are a lot of pull-offs and hammer-ons that are happening within the chords that can be a bit tricky. The intro happens with a hammer-on inside of the G chord where you would hit an open five string and then hammer-on with your first finger to the five string second fret and then hit uh, the six string third fret where your second finger should be. And then you would hit, um, uh, hit the higher registered ends of this chord where your ring finger would be on the second string third fret and your pinky finger would be on the first string third fret. Like a hammer on G and then up down on the higher end. And then you'll hit the open fourth string, which is you know our relative D note. And then after that, you're going to go into a C chord. Your ring and pinky finger will remain where they're at on the third frets of strings one and two, but you'll move with your uh, second and first finger. Your second finger moving to the five string three fret, and your first finger, as you're strumming across this chord, will hammer on into the fourth string second fret. So you've got. So and after the hammer on, you do the same kind of up, down on the higher register of the strings, and then you're going to hit. You're going to hit the fourth string uh, where your first finger is at on the second fret, and then pull off your second, uh, pull off your first finger from the fourth string second fret before going into the E minor. So we've got. So that that. Pull, uh, that pull off is happening right at the end of the phrase of the C before then going into an E minor. To move to the E minor, you can just move your first finger to the five string two fret, hit the open six string, and then strings uh, four, three, four and three can remain open, and you can just leave your ring and pinky where they were on strings one and two, third fret. So after the E minor, you'll go to the G chord. And then, uh, then in that G chord, you will emphasize the open four string again before moving into a D chord. So let me let you hear how that open D is going to get emphasized in the G chord from the beginning. Pull off E minor to the G, hit the D, open D string, and then into a D chord. The way this D chord will get played is uh, you're going to move your first finger to the third string second fret. You will bring your uh, pinky off the fretboard and put your second finger on the first string second fret and your ring finger will remain where it's been on the second string third fret. And you'll strum from the open five string down. After that chord you're then going to go back to the E minor, then back up to the G and hit the open uh, four string again and then go back into your C chord and you'll do the same pull off and then the E minor chord to the D chord and in this next D chord you'll hit like the open uh, four string and then the open five string before going back into the C chord. So let me let you hear that and that's uh, that last C chord is where the intro uh, will then begin to repeat back to the G. So here's the whole intro very slowly and I'll try to speak as I'm doing it. Hammer on to the B note, then hit the G chord, then hit the open five, the open four string, the D note, hammer on to the C chord, pull off, D minor to the G chord, open four string into the D chord. Uh, in this D chord, you can hear the same pull off that happened in the C, except for it's going to happen on the three string two fret, where you strike across the chord and you pull off your first finger from the third string second fret. And then back into the E minor chord to the G chord, open four string C note, pull off of the C, back into the E minor, the D chord, 
and then the C chord, and that repeats. back to the G chord. Um, whenever we get to the chorus, so the chorus happens after a C chord, it's going to be a D chord, uh, same D chord as before, but then in the chorus it moves to this style of C chord. Your ring finger will go to the 6th string 3 fret, your pinky finger will go to the 5 string 3 fret, your second finger will be on the 4 string 2 fret, you'll have an open 3 string, your first finger will be on the 2nd string 1 fret, and you'll have an open 1 string. We've got D to C to the G chord, back to the C chord, to the G chord, and then back up to the D chord. You can hear that same pull off with your first finger opening up the uh, three string uh, from the three string two fret to three string open. Then it goes back to a E minor chord, and then back up to a D chord and down to a G chord where there's a walk up to a C by going. So in the G chord during the chorus, you'll hammer on to the uh, from the open five string to the five string second fret with your first finger. And then move into that same C chord from the intro with your second finger moving to the five string three fret and your first finger going to the four string two fret. Uh, all the while you're uh, ring and pinky fingers are still planted on strings one and two third fret uh, So let me start the course over again. You've got the D chord To the C chord to the G chord to the C chord to the G chord up to the D chord Pull off then into the E minor chord back to the D chord. You've got the G chord walk to the C back to the E minor up to the D and then into the G chord, where the intro round starts again of uh, just the in-between breaks of the verse chords. for this can be really kind of difficult to get. It's very, very sparse. It's like just down, up, down, down. It's really, it's built around that right there almost. It's built around and and one and one or and one and two and one and two. That's what it's built around. It's built around that feel, but it's much more sparse than that. So I'm sorry that I can't describe more uh, or articulate better how the rhythm is taking place, but it's very sparse and kind of. Something along those lines. Something along those lines. Very sparse and a lot of random kind of hiccup hits. So that might be something that I would encourage you to, as you play along with the track, um, just practice muting the strings and trying to find the rhythm hits with your right hand before you try to piece it all together if you're having trouble with the rhythm. So. Those are the chords and movements to Hey Stranger by Mandolin Orange. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.